Check. Ah, yeah. Hi, everybody. So this is uh, something a little bit new and a little bit different. Um, probably not. Ah, yeah. Hi, everybody. I'm probably not going to be as talkative as I normally am during my live streams. Um, and as you can see, the setup's a little bit different on your screens. Hopefully you enjoy what you are seeing. It's more of a, a setup to help me play a game with you that I thought would be really interesting. So if you are unfamiliar with GeoGuessr, it gives you a scene from Google Maps and you have to guess, the way I like to play it is, uh, you have to guess what country it is. I see Vito saying, here we go. Rod, the Brazilian English teacher saying, let's do it. I thought it'd be fun to have the chat on the screen. And I see Cecilia saying, hey, hey. So uh, here's what we're gonna do. I'm going to kind of look around this city. I'm going to try and identify some things that give me a sense of where we're at. In the chat, if you think you know what country this is, just type it in and we'll see. So it does have some English, but this is not English. And I noticed over here, there were some more signs. Uh, Abraham says it looks like England and Jose is saying hello from Colombia. Um, by the way, once we guess, we go here and we kind of enter what country we think it is, but I'm going to look at these signs here. So we have some coffee. Um, and also along the way, I, I hopefully I can teach you some English. <laughs> we'll see. Uh, but I noticed there's English on here, but also what, oh, here's a giveaway. Does anyone know what the NL means? If you know what country this is, uh, just type it in the chat. I'll wait a few seconds before I, uh, I choose. I think I have figured it out. I think the bicycles maybe are a really good hint if you know what country. Um, Gisela says, hello, teacher Bob. Hello, Gisela. Good to see you here. Amina says Italy. I don't think it's Italy, but Amina is now guessing the Netherlands. Should we try that? Do we try the Netherlands? Let's do that. Let's find the Netherlands on this map. Um, and I'm going to click guess. Hey, we got it right. So you can see here we have your streak is now one country. So we got one right. It was in fact the Netherlands or Holland. We also say in English. Um, so let's try the next one. Let's see. Uh, let's see if we can find the next one. Uh, by the way, um, this uh, isn't totally an English lesson. It's more like a let's play. Um, a let's play is when someone plays a video game. Um, usually not a video game like this, but uh, you're welcome to play along with me. I'm not sure how many of these I'll do. It was just something that I wanted to do for fun. Um, we are now looking at a place where well, we are out in the middle of nowhere, aren't we? Wanted to do for fun. Um, so in English, when you say you're in the middle of nowhere, it means you are not in a city. So there are mountains. There are some, some houses with tin on the side. This is certainly not as easy as being in the city. This might help some of you help me identify. So we have Rodriguez. I know Rodrigo is in the chat, but I don't know if we're in South America somewhere. Remember at any point, if you think you know what country we're in, put it in the chat and I will guess that country. I think, I think we're definitely, I think we're in South America. That's my guess. I see Ireland. I see someone saying, Cecilia saying it's in Spanish. So that's, I'm not sure if it's Spain or not. Let's see here. The Severo, interesting. Let's, uh, 
Let's just take a guess. Tell me in the chat what you think it is and I will ask, I will put that in. So I see a couple people, Cecilia saying Peru and uh, Edgar thinks it's Chile. Felipe thinks it's Peru. We have a couple Perus. So let's go with Peru. Let's see, let's see how close we get. That's correct. Oh, thank you. We now have gotten two right. <laughs> if you weren't helping me, there's no way I would have gotten that one. So again, we're in South America and we were in a country, uh, the country called Peru. So again, um, this is going to be a little different than my normal live streams. I'm, I'm probably going to talk a little bit slower. I might think quietly every once in a while. I'm drinking my tea with honey. It's just a fun evening uh, to sit and play a game that I really enjoy playing and I thought I would invite some of you along to play as well. This is giving us no hints, although that is a very straight road. Um, so a hint would be like something that lets you know what's happening. There is a little bit of garbage in the ditch. Well, let's go down the road a little bit. Again, if you have any sense of where this is, by the way, it's usually not this hard. You usually aren't uh, put out into the, the countryside like this. This could be like maybe Australia or something. Um, give, me some, uh, give me some ideas in the chat. What a desolate place, says uh, Sadia. Yes, desolate is a good word to describe this. It looks quite dry and quite brown. Should we guess Australia? If you think I should guess Australia, put that in the chat and we'll give that a try. We'll see if... Uh... So I know Australia is very large and the roads are probably very straight. So if you think it's Australia, so I know Australia, let's see here, New Zealand. I think New Zealand's a lot greener. South of Argentina. Oh, that could be too, right? This further south. Did we guess Argentina? Or should we guess Australia? I'm going to guess Argentina. Who's with me on that? Let's go with Argentina and see if we get it right. Oh, we were wrong. It was South Africa. Now, I've been to South Africa and it was a lot greener than that when I was there. Um, so that surprises me. I was in the northern part of South Africa though. So uh, interesting. Okay, so we, our streak is over, but we're going to try again here. Let's hope that we're somewhere. Oh, there's a flag. That might help us. We're definitely somewhere where it's very warm, if not tropical. You can tell by the, uh, the style of tree there. They have recycle bins out. Oh, and the stop sign is in English. Let's get a little closer to the stop sign. I'm wondering if this is the United States. The southern United States. So um, again, uh, in the chat, if you think you know what country this is, start to let me know and we'll guess in a minute. I was hoping to see a car on the road. Sometimes when you, um, when you can find a car driving, you can see what kind it is. You can't ever see license plates though. They're always blurred out. I have a few guesses here. Uh, Roskler is saying Miami. Sage is saying Miami, United States, the US. Yeah, let's guess. Let's try that. Let's guess the United States. And let's see. Um, let's see what that gives us. I'll hit guess. Yes. We got it. Awesome. Okay. I'm going to have a sip of tea here. Uh, Edgar uh, guessed United States as well. Oh, good. We're somewhere. It's always nice when you're somewhere where there's a few signs to read. Uh, so we're at a gas station. Um, 
I think if you are learning British English, you would call this a petrol station. In Canada, we call it a gas station. These are the gas pumps. So you usually you uh, fill your car up from the gas pump. So it's a mini market and this says city blue. So it's definitely English. Let's see if we can, oh, I can't get further into the gas station. So here's another hint. I don't know where Luke Oil is from. Um, and these vehicles do not look North American to me. Um, these vehicles definitely, well, maybe these do. Wait a sec. Duh. That does not say stop. Interesting. Again, if you have any idea what country this might be, uh, guess in the chat. Whoa, it's like there's nothing for miles around here. Let's see. Oh, and these are not, they're not the kind of signs you would see. You think it's Russia. I don't think it's Russia. Is it Russia? There is a Turkish word. I have a few people guessing that it's Turkey. Let's see if we can get close to something that identifies it. Where did you see a flag, Eduardo? Do I need to go back to the gas station? There was a flag in the last one. Okay, let's guess Turkey. Let's, I think we've spent enough time. Let's, oh, it's correct. Awesome. Turkey and I'm Turkish. Thanks, Aja. <laughs> Sorry, I should have listened to you from the very beginning. That would have been quite helpful. So, um, hey, so there's 43 people watching. Awesome to see all of you. If you're wondering what's happening. Uh, I'm playing uh, a game called GeoGuessr. Um, it's not really an English lesson, but I'll try to speak slowly and I'll start to, I'll try to, um, uh, explain things. So it looks like Sage is saying, yes, it's Turkish. And then Dagon says, Luke Oil is a Russian company. Okay. So does Glaucia. Interesting. Hey, just one sec. I'm going to open the window because it's getting hot in here. closed all the doors so that it would be quiet in here but okay let's go for the next round uh graciela says hi bob hi okay so we're somewhere so when i see trees like this i think it's somewhere tropical it's definitely not canada um if anyone recognizes i'm not very good with languages but if so here we have a recycling bin. Let's go a little further up the street. Electro Mano Domesticos. Oh, what is this? There's a clue right there. So let me know in the chat if you know what, uh, what country this is. That was a huge clue, I think. For me, I, I hope I'm right. <laughs> we'll see in a minute. Let's have a look around here. You can see these apartment buildings. They have nice balconies on the outside. Um, and uh, this is an air conditioner unit um, to keep the apartment nice and cool. A few street lights. Let's see what the guesses are. Mexico. Hmm. Don't think it's Mexico. I think the hint was right here. I'm pretty sure this is for Spain. I think it's España. Cecilia Romania says Spain. I think you're right. I hope I'm right. Let's see. Yes, we are correct. Oh, look at that. You have received a new badge. Hot streak. Italy, France, Bolivia, no problem. That's awesome. So what do we have here? Miroslav is a new member of the channel. I'm using this overlay that uh, is kind of fancy and it makes fun sounds when, uh, when people join. Uh, you'll hear that in a minute. So thank you, Miroslav, uh, very much. And it makes fun sounds Okay, let's get back to the game. Your streak is now at three countries. So let's see if we can, uh, let's see if we can get the next one. Oh no. There, there is, 
There's nothing to look at here to help us out. So we do know though that these types of trees, this is probably a northern country. Let's see if we can get close to this fan. Sometimes though it's hard to um it's hard to get close. Oh, so we have corn and they're driving on the right side of the road. This this could be Canada, you know. It could be Canada. If you think it's Canada, type Canada in the chat. <laughs> Hi Brent. Uh so Brent is uh American English guy too. Hi Brent. Brent, I've been playing GeoGuess for quite a bit lately and I thought it would be fun to kind of test out how well it would work as kind of like a let's play live stream kind of like an English lesson a bit of both. So anyways, good to see you Brent. Um we're gonna guess Canada. You know this looks a lot like Canada to me. I, oh we have a sign coming up that might help us a little bit. Oh it disappeared. Let's see if we can get to this sign. It's, there's no writing on it, so that's not going to help us. Let's, uh, by the way, this car does not look Canadian to me. I mean, no cars are Canadian, but. Okay, we're going to guess Canada. Want to guess Canada? Um, let's, let's try that. I see Canada from Amina in the chat. Um, <laughs> Brent didn't realize he's logged in as his other channel. Russia, ah, it, it could be. What should we guess, people? Uh, Romania, Russia, I see in the chat. Olympio is saying Russia. Kea is saying Romania. Um, I don't think it's Canada. Let's try Russia. Let's see what we get uh, when we guess Russia. Oh, it was Bulgaria. So we were in geographically quite close, okay? But that surprisingly looked a lot like um, as soon as I saw corn and um, wilderness and pine trees, it looked a lot like uh, Canada. But, oh, well, we got it wrong. Uh, let's go for the next round. Let's see. Let's see what we can get. You know, maybe I should play a version of this where we're not always out in the middle of nowhere. Wow. This is even worse than the last one. So we know they're driving on the right side of the road. Let's see here. Yeah, start putting in the chat where you think this is. I think Edgar is saying Brazil. Felipe is saying Brazil. I don't recognize that type of license plate. Brent is saying Ukraine. Let's go for Brazil. Let's try it. I got a few people saying Brazil in the chat. Oh, we could have got it. I should have went with Brent. I should have, I should have trusted Brent on that one. Oh, well, no, no worries. Let's move on. Oh, this is interesting. Okay, so cars are driving on the right side of the road. So that's our first hint. Um, this is a Ford, which doesn't really mean anything because I think Ford sells cars almost everywhere in the world. Um, oh, we have a sign here. Okay, so we have some language help here. If anyone recognizes this language, just yell in the chat and we'll go from there. I see people in the chat talking about roads in Russia. Roads in Canada are in awful condition as well. I don't think uh, any one country that has winter can claim to have the worst roads. Winter destroys roads no matter what country you're in. Italy. I see many, many people saying Italy. Let's find Italy on the map and let's take a guess on that. Thank you so much. I'm pretty sure we got it because I have Mohammed, I have Rod, I have Felipe, I have Marcelo, I have Edgar, Rose Claire, many, many people saying Italy. Okay, we got one. Let's, uh, let's get to the next one. Okay, we'll, we'll go down this road in a little bit. So we kind of have like 
an undeveloped area, we would call it in English. We have a lot of rock. We have a sign here, which means it's not Canada or the US. We don't really, we don't usually have little round signs like that. Let's go down the road a bit and see what we got here. So that might give some of you a hint if you're familiar with that type of gas station. Nest oil. Brazil again. Sweden or Brazil. Well, let's, let's wait just a second here and see if we can find a little more information. So we have some pylons. These little orange things, we call those pine lawns because there's road work going on here. So the road crew put up pylons. Rod's saying this is Brazil. So let's give it, let's give, I trust Rod. Here we go, Rod. Let's see if we got number two here. Oh no, Finland. How was that Finland? That, for some reason, that surprises me. I thought that was, okay. It was Finland, everybody. There you go. Now you know. <laughs> Let's get our next screen. Okay, so we have lots of information to go on here. We know we're somewhere warm by looking at the trees. It looks like, let's get a sense. We have a, there's a clock up here. Star Hotel is in English. I'm having a little trouble driving. I can't seem to go the direction I want to go. Whoa, okay. So people are driving on the left side of the road. Let's zoom in here a bit. Gaming machines. Best in Otahuhu. Wondering. Yeah. Let me know in the chat if you think we're in. Oh, let me see here. Do you think we're actually in India? I was going to guess. Help me out. I'm not super familiar with what side of the road people drive on in every country. I think this, I just think this could be, um, what do you think people? Where do you think we are? Sunny zone children's wear. Home ownership. So ev not everything is in English either, but you know, that, that doesn't mean anything. In Canada, there are places in Canadian cities where every language from every part of the world is in print because we are very much a country where people have immigrated from everywhere. Okay, give me some, give me some guesses. Peru, India, not Argentina, says Graciela. Amina says Peru. Yeah, I don't know. You know what? We're just going to have to guess at this. You want me to guess? I'm going to guess. I'm going to guess South Africa. Who said South Africa? Felipe? Let's try that, Felipe. Let's, let's try South Africa and see what we get. New Zealand. You know, I was thinking that sli slightly, but who knows? It might be better. It's, it is not South America, not Latin America. So... Okay, good to know. Let's get the next one. Oh, man. What do we have here? Okay, let's, let's, do, let's do this one. This is like a dirt road in the middle of nowhere. Who knows where it's going? Um, oh, there's a fork in the road. Here's another uh, phrase for you. When the road splits in two like this, we say it's a fork. I have no clue. Let's just randomly guess on this one. I'm going to say, let's just, let's pick like Japan. Let's try that. Let's see if, no, it's Mexico. I, I was off by this much. <laughs> I was off by an entire ocean. So I um, certainly do not know my countries. By the way, the more you play this, the better you do get at it. It does take a while sometimes though. Okay. Please let us be in a city. Okay. 
So the word police, we can see here, but then here, I'm gonna need some help from you on this because this is not familiar to me. If you know it, give me your best guess on this one. I, th I think, Brent, look at the sun. If it's in the north, it will mean it's, that's the, oh, I see. Interesting. Never thought about that. Let's go down this street and have a look. Bosnia, Europe, somewhere. So Amina is saying Bosnia. Eduardo is saying Russia. Eduardo is saying, I think Russia. We can take a guess that it's Russia. We have flags here. I, I don't know exactly if that helps us. Not Russia, says Bulat. Um, Nura says Turkey. Not Turkey. Oh, BG. What is BG? Does anybody know? Let's go with Bulgaria. We found a, an address. So what I did there was whenever I can find what's called a website address, if you can figure out what the last two letters are, uh, you can usually get a good sense of where you are in the world. So let's go with Bulgaria. Yes. So we have, we have a streak of one. That means we've gotten one right. Um, but yeah, actually I should... This part of the world is interesting to me. I would love to visit this part of the world someday. And France, of course. Always want to visit France. Okay, we have a sign right in here. Basically, I think it says no parking. That's my guess. Hmm. It's definitely some beautiful architecture. We have a street light right here. We have nice little balconies with a railing around it. Um, people walking down the street. Oh, here we have some writing on the police car. Give me a guess here. Spain? I see Raphael saying Spain. Let's go a little further in. Oh, we had a sign there. In front of a building. Not 100% sure. I have a couple of people saying Spain. Eduardo says Spain. <laughs> Brett says Zanzibar. Portugal. Let's try Spain. Let's see if this is uh, indeed Spain. That's right. Excellent. So we got two correct. Let's, um, let's see how this goes. Felipe is saying Spain. James is saying Spain. Okay. So let's, here's our next one. Very, very hilly. Like this is a steep incline to go up that hill. Definitely, let's go down the road here. There's some, the map popped up. There's some writing school zone. Oh, I missed a sign there. Let's go back and see. Um, Yeah, it's a no parking. I think it says school zone. Go a little further down the street. So we have a street vendor here. Um, okay, so here we have cafeteria. Anybody give me a guess? Brazil, Venezuela, Colombia. Nelson says Colombia. Felipe says Venezuela. Um, it's not Brazil, but it's in South America for sure. Let's try Colombia. Let's see if we are in Colombia. Nice. Okay, people, I don't think I've ever gotten a streak of four. We just got a streak of three. Oh, great. We're in. I use the phrase the middle of nowhere a lot, haven't I? We're, we're once again in the middle of nowhere. Okay. I do not recognize the style of housing. So this is, you know, it's definitely not Canada because we don't have roofs like that in Canada on our houses. 
I also think, oh, definitely they have sheep, I think. So we would call this a pasture. You can see the fence around the pasture. I think there might even be sheep out in the field. I think there's a flock of sheep out there. So what do you think? Uh, Ireland, New Zealand, the UK, Australia. Got to be one of the places where we have a lot of sheep. Sweden. We do certainly have a lot of very blue ocean out there. Some very old buildings here that have fallen over. Let's see here. Should we guess Ireland? We've got a few Irelands in the chat. Let's go with Ireland. And let's, uh, let's see where that gets us. Oh my. We got four in a row. <laughs> I can't believe it. Um, okay. I don't know why I'm excited. You guys are the ones that got four in a row. I'm just the one clicking the buttons and talking. Um, oh, and there's almost 70 people watching. Hey, I wasn't, I wasn't expecting that many people. But hey, welcome. Um, let's play for a little bit longer. I wanted to get five in a row, but this is... Okay, so we have a paved road, and I'm standing. I'm basically in an intersection. Um... So, oh, there's a sign here. Let's go and see if we can get to that sign. Oh, everything suddenly became green. Okay, what do we got here? Sean Menorah. Down. Yeah, it's definitely... So they drive on the right side of the road. It's, it's fairly lush, I would say. And it looks kind of like a volcanic type soil. I wonder if we're somewhere like Cambodia or Laos or something like that. We'll go down the road for a bit. There's a pond here. There's a pond on the side of the road. That doesn't tell us anything, but I was just reminding myself that I'm supposed to be trying to teach you some English. This is a paved road. This is a ditch. <laughs> uh, let's see here. It's kind of like a mile marker. Does it have some writing on it? A little bit. Not a lot. Check something. A little bit. Yeah, let's... Uh, I'm just going to take a guess, everybody. I think... What do I see in the chat here? I see Vietnam, Thailand, and Taiwan. And I think we're in that area of the world. Uh, I see Amina saying Taiwan, Celia saying Vietnam. Uh, what should I guess? Um, okay, I'm going to guess Laos. Laos? Cambodia. I'm just going to go with Cambodia. Is that okay? No way. No way, no way, no way. <laughs> so, sorry, I, I went... Um, I kind of went on a whim. Uh, I don't. I that was totally luck, by the way. So, I was I was thinking we were in this part of the world. I didn't think we were this far, but uh, okay. Did I enjoy this location? Yes, I totally enjoyed it. Um, other, it just made me win. That's why I liked it. Okay, people, you have really been helping me out here yeah I think we're I thought those might be sheep by the way this um, is a is a swing and this little green thing behind is a slide these are kids play toys and I'm pretty sure this is rhubarb growing here behind this fence um, we have a car here I can't seem to oh we have some cows Hmm. Oh, we have a license plate. Okay, so we know we're not in Canada or the United States. At least I know that. Yeah, there's a little playground over there, isn't there? We can go back and look at that again. I think we lost it. <laughs> Certainly a pile of firewood here. So they use firewood for heating their houses. 
by, oh, here we have a sign. Entreprise forestière. Okay, so we are not in Quebec. You guys think we're in France? See, the problem with French is it's spoken in a lot of places. But if... I'm going to guess it's probably France. Um, unless there's a French guy that lives in Scotland. <laughs> um, let's see. Let's, let's just look around a little bit more. I see a lot of people, Felipe saying France, Graciela, Eduardo, or Edgard, Cecilia. Let, let's try France. I do see one Switzerland, though, which is not a bad guess either. Because the French language is spoken. Um, in Belgium, Luxembourg, Switzerland, France. But let's go with France. Oh man, we got six. <laughs> this is uh, this is totally shocking. But we got six people. We're do we're doing good. Thanks, Nelson and Boulot. Oh, Boulot said Belgium. That's a good guess too. Um, and Cecilia and Graciela and everyone else who said France. Okay. So we have apartment buildings. These don't have balconies. A balcony would actually come out and you would be able to stand on it. Um, it looks very European to me, but that... Okay, Wanhaus, that might be German. But that doesn't mean we're in Germany. Let's look around a bit more. So if anyone recognizes... The I see Raphael saying Germany. Malika Games says, hi, Teacher Bob. Hi, Malika. Um, let's see here. Germany. Uh, this little cross here, though, makes me think it's Switzerland. Uh, now I'm worried. I don't, I don't want to get it wrong by accident. Um, let's see if we can find another part of the city to look at. So we have a restaurant here. So we would call this sidewalk uh, dining or outdoor dining. You guys want to, you want to guess Germany? Oh, people are saying Austria or Switzerland. That's a good guess as well. The van is not giving us. Oh, look at that. I think we got it. I think it's Austria. Oh, I can't get close enough to the van. Does that look like, I think it's AT. I think we're in Austria. So James B said Austria and Graciela said Austria. Let's try it. Let's try Austria. See if that's it. Oh boy, we got seven in a row. Now, now I'm nervous to keep going. We got seven in a row. That's a little bit shocking, um, but I'm excited though. I've, ne I've never gotten seven in a row. Um, if, if we play this together again uh, later this week, we'll have to try and uh, beat seven, unless we get eight. Let's see. Oh, boy. So this. So the, the style of houses is not very North American. Okay. I'll say that right from the get-go. It doesn't look like we're in Canada or the United States. Um, very cute little houses. I like them. Wherever this is, very cool looking. But we're not getting a lot of, we need to find the downtown area. Usually if you can find the downtown area of a town, it's a little easier find out. Yeah, Brent was nervous at four in a row. Well, I'm nervous now, Brent. Hopefully, uh, I can't find any street signs or any writing. Let's keep going. Let's see if we can uh, make our way to a busier part of town. Oh, well, somebody has their tractor in town. So oh, here's a little red tractor with a wagon behind it. Sorry, let me move that so you can see the wagon behind. I almost feel like we're in 
like Central Europe or Southern, like maybe somewhere like, uh, I feel like we might be in uh, Croatia or something. Why do I think that? Let me keep looking. Todd the Canadian is here saying we do have orange tile rooms. Hi, Todd. <laughs> um, I need some guesses, everybody. Uh, we got to start. Uh, you could put some guesses in the chat. We have one sign here. Okay, that. I think that's. Oh, I just clicked somewhere wrong. Sorry. We have a sign here as well. Okay, give me a give me a guess. Yeah, Bulat says houses reminded of the Alpine area. Okay, I'm gonna guess that we're somewhere over here. Who's with me? Somebody want to name a country in this area and I will click on it. I'll have a sip of tea while you guys choose which country I should click on. Let's go with Romania. First guess is from Mapta is Romania. Let's see. Oh, we were so close. We were literally in exactly the right part of the world and we caught it wrong. Um, oh, well. Hey, I don't know if how much fun you're having, but uh, <laughs> this is a lot of fun for me. It's more fun than I was expecting. So we will definitely uh, play a bit more and then do it again sometime. Okay, so our streak's over, people. We, uh, our streak has ended. Wow, this could be anywhere. This could be Greece. This could be Canada. This could be, you know what I really should do is I should memorize, I should memorize what side of the road every country drives on. Eduardo says, this is fun. Brent says, this is fun. Graziella says, very, very close. Yes, we were very, very close. Maybe we should have done uh, what Brent said. No rush. Let's take our time. So you're not allowed to pass here. We know that. But we know we're not in Canada because our signs don't look like that. But I also don't think our roads look like this in Canada. Can't seem to get anywhere. There is graffiti on the rocks. Oh, you can see the shadow here of the Google van when it drove around making this map. Okay, I can't seem to uh, get to anywhere populated. A little challenging. You can start guessing. Yeah, there was kind of graffiti. I'm going to say Amina is saying Greece. Roskler is saying Croatia. If it is Greece. Oh, here we have a sign. Oh, it's just a road signing. Okay, we're going to guess. So, Boltup says Albania. Let's get zoomed in here. So, Albania. It's Albania. I think we're somewhere here. Okay. Let's do Albania. That, let's guess it. Oh. Once again, I think that we're getting better at this. We were very close. I was thinking Greece. And we had uh, Bolt of, say, Albania. Which was a great guess. But uh, we were off by one country. Okay, here we go. Wow. Nothing like being far from civilization. Uh, we have a l l like a street light. Looks like there is a sign up here. Okay. Help me out here, everybody. It's in kilometers. Okay. 
We do have a street sign here if you can read that. <laughs> Eduardo says, in the middle of nowhere. Yes. Now there is a city, if you look at the horizon. You can see a city there. Um, like I'm on a bridge of some kind now. This is the guardrail or the railing of the bridge. So there's a railroad track below. Doesn't really help, but let's try Russia. I see James, Amina are saying Russia. Lupus is saying Russia. Jose is saying Russia. Uh, let's go for a Russia and see, uh, see what we get here. Nice. We got it. Russia is gigantic, by the way. Canada is big. Russia is very big. There. That's how I would describe them. So sometimes in English, when we're getting frustrated, we say, ah, oh, come on. Like, that was my first thought when I saw this one. Like, come on. We're like in the middle of nowhere again. Maybe they should call this game the middle of nowhere. <laughs> Uruguay. I have a, we have a little house out there with a little bridge, a little footpath to it. We do have some mountains, not very big mountains. I'll just drive for a bit. Oh, we have a sign here. Hmm. I think we just figured it out, everyone. I think I know where we are. Here, I'll show you the sign and I'll have a sip of water and you tell me in the chat where you think. We need a sign. Yeah, we just got a sign. Hey, that's handy, eh, Eduardo? No, I don't think it's Croatia. This is your hint right here. Warwick says, wow, the stream UI looks cool. Yeah, I use something called Streamlabs. I didn't build the UI, but uh, I did find it. I think we're in Hungary, everybody. That's what I'm going to say. So let's, uh, let's see if that, uh, if that works. I think when I looked at this sign, I think the website ends with HR, which I think is Hungary. So we're, we're going to try. <gasps> oh, my goodness. I got it wrong. I should have listened to Gabe. Gabe said Croatia. Boltup said Croatia. Why? Why did I not listen to you guys? <laughs> and now Gabe says .hr is Croatia. Okay, my bad. Um, I should have listened to everyone in the chat. Um, so a Thai mom's life in Japan is here and says hello. Hello, how are you? We're playing a game here called GeoGuessr. And we are trying to figure out, we're playing the version of it where you only need to guess the country. So if you are new, if you're just playing, um, help me out here. So we have both English on the sign. I need to learn my alphabets and my other language characters. I think that would really help me in this game. Uh, Singapore, I see Jesse saying Singapore. And belt up saying Singapore. Let's let's guess that right away. Let's just go for it. Um, let's see. Oh, sorry. I got to zoom in way further so I can get to Singapore. There we go. Let's try it. Oh, I see a lot of people saying China though. Hmm. We're gonna guess Singapore. Nice. The reason I guess Singapore is there was a lot of English on the signs as well. Eduardo was guessing Japan. Well, we have a nice potato field. <laughs> yeah, that doesn't really. <laughs> That's, uh, so uh, we could just start guessing all the countries in the world that grow potatoes. That would be a good start. We have a very nice um, brick fence. Like that must have cost a bit of money build that. Wait, was there a sign? Can't really read that, can we? A little bit too small. Okay. So a Thai mom says, I'm staying in Japan now. There's not much English. Okay. It's good to know. 
This is the only way Bob the Canadian travels, is by playing GeoGuessr. This is a partially constructed house. Um, I see one guess of as Russia. Got a little bit of stone on the road here. So there's a pile of stone. Maybe they're going to fix that. Some signs here, but they're really hard to read. This one you can kind of see a little bit. Let's see if I can get a little better aim. See people saying, Eldo is saying Thailand. Cecilia is saying Colombia. Ulad is saying Eastern Europe. <laughs> We're all over the world. Um, and H says, or Achi says, good evening, Bob. How are you doing? I'm doing great, Achi. I'm just, uh, just playing a game and hanging out with people who like to learn English. Hopefully this is helpful. So we're at an intersection. The road doesn't look paved. It looks like, like it's paved a bit and then dirt on the other side. And then there's just piles of stone everywhere. Yeah, and that's not signs, it's ads. Yeah, I think they are ads on the posts. I think people are advertising things. Oh, here we might have a sign we can see if we can get. It's not very legible, is it? I think we just need to guess. I think we just need to guess. So if somebody, here's a sign where we can actually get some script and you can read it. Someone give me a guess. I think we're in this part of the world somewhere. Don't think it's Belgium. Lithuania. Lithuania. Know about that. That's a tricky one. I think Russia. People are saying Russia. Bosnia. You know, this game is going to make me study my geography and my languages a lot. So Brent's saying Belarus. Fine, Bel. That's Russia, says Alexi. Okay. Well, let's see if Alexi has trumped in. Thanks, Alexi, for, <laughs> for helping me out. Um, Alexi jumped in, said Russia, said Russia again, and I trust Alexi. Thanks, Alexi. Let's get to. And hi, Alexi. Good to see you here. Um, yeah, for those of you that are maybe just joining, um, I sometimes play GeoGuessr. Um, and I thought it might be fun as a relaxing way to do a live stream. Um, it doesn't, I don't need to do any preparation. And I can speak English and maybe help you a bit. So here we have, it says Badupo. Don't know if I zoomed in on that for too for long enough for you. And then we have anybody. Do you think we're in Poland? Anybody want to give me a guess on this one? Um, maybe not. Kiwi. Yeah, give me some. Uh, give me some guesses in the chat, everybody. And uh, I'll talk about English while we're waiting. So this machine here, we would call an excavator for digging holes in the ground. And we would call these, I think these are just corner stores. This is like a little fruit market, a little roadside stand. Poland, maybe, says Lupus. Croatia, says Felipe. Slovenia. Alexi needs to go. See you, Alexi. Thanks for jumping in. I don't know. Norway? I will confess I don't know my languages very well. Oh, but we just learned that HR was, oh shoot, now I can't remember. I have to scroll back in the chat. Is it Croatia? Is that what HR is? Let me know before I get too far along here. Croatia. Okay, so there we go. Let's find 
Why can Bob the Canadian also not find Croatia? There we go. I was looking across from Greece instead of across from Italy. There we go. Okay. We got three. We got three, everybody. Thanks, Nelson, for Googling for me. Edgard says Croatia. Um, oh, wow. Okay. So we're somewhere warm. We can see there's palm trees. Um, I have a little villa here. We might call this a villa in English because there's a nice fence around it. Um, they're driving on the right side of the road. There's actually a sign here for, that says Kids Crossing, so there's probably a school nearby. Let's drive down the road a little bit. Uh, a couple kids on bikes. Uh, a little moped. So when you have a really small motorcycle with pedals, we call it a moped. Uh, with some bags to carry stuff. Hmm. I think we're somewhere, again, like somewhere close, like Myanmar maybe, or, oh, here's a sign down here. Let's go look at this sign. Oh, Cambodian People Party. Should we guess Cambodia? Do you think that would be a good guess? Let me know in the chat if based on this sign, you think we should guess Cambodia. And then I'll go ahead and guess Cambodia. Definitely Cambodia, says Jesse. Uh, let's get to Southeast Asia and find Cambodia. There we go. Also, you know, I thought I knew where every country in the world was, but I'm going to do a little research because there was a couple so far that I couldn't find. Oh, we're at four. Okay. We have a streak of four. Let's see here if we can... Uh, we have a streak of four, and now we are in basically, I think this might be oats or wheat. Looks like wheat. So we're in a wheat field. Who knows where we are way out somewhere. <laughs> Did it freeze? Is it still working, everybody? It's in the chat. Oh, okay, yeah, it is still working. Did it freeze? Is it still working? Okay, sorry. I just thought that. Okay, uh, well, let's drive down here and let's see if we can. We probably can't go there. But wow, this is. Like, there's no one for miles around here. Like, this is probably the farm. Out in the sticks again, says Pulat. Yes. Uh, Argentina. Um, Brent says USA, but Brent, I'm not sure this looks like a, this does not look a, like an American or North American tractor. And these houses look, I think South America might actually be a good guess. Graciela says Argentina, Morocco, Australia. Let's go with Argentina. Let's, we haven't guessed a lot in, this, in South America. Lithuania. Okay, we were out. We were wrong by... Um, hmm. uh, now this time we're wrong by an entire Atlantic Ocean. So, oh well. Let's, uh, let's do a few more. Okay, so we have a lot to look at here. So we have... Definitely English. Uh, their, their email address is at Gmail, so that doesn't help us. Some of you are probably Googling the names of these businesses. Um, it could be Australia, you know. Let's look here. So this is a place where you would buy like pipes and stuff and toilets and everything that goes in your bathroom. Let's go down the road a little bit. Oh, they're driving on the left, by the way. The radiator is what goes in the front of your car. It helps keep your car cool. South Africa, New Zealand. South Africa is a good guess because they do drive on the left. San Persac. Interesting. 
think it might be South Africa. Um, Rafaela says hello from Italy. Hello. We're just trying to guess what country we're in, Rafaela. Um, a track car and audio. Car audio. So if you want a uh, radio in your car, you would go to. Let's see here. Okay, Manga, you try, you're trying to get up. Did you just wake up? So we say we're we're seeing Australia. Okay, give me a guess, everybody, and we will. You know what? I think there's a good chance this is South Africa. Oh, look, there's an excavator up on the hill. You see it? It's digging a hole up there. Oh, I don't know what to say. Okay, give me some guesses in the chat, people, and I will finally pick this one. Um, we're thinking maybe South Africa. Let's go with Amina says South Africa. Let's, let's try that. Let's South Africa. Guess. Okay, good. We, we got one. South Africa was the guess. South Africa was right. The reason I thought it might be South Africa is there were a few signs that had kind of like a Dutch spelling. Um, and there's a, there's a bit of Dutch history connected with South Africa. Well, it's winter. It's definitely winter. I don't think it's Canada, though, because, well, actually, no, I think we are somewhere. Let's see if we can find a sign. Actually, let's figure out where we want to go first. I'm trying to figure out what direction I should go find a sign. Yeah, Afrikaans. Yeah, that's what I was thinking, Brent. That there was a bit of Afrikaans and there was some Dutch, a Dutch sounding name on one of the businesses. Oh, there's a nice view of the valley below. That's kind of nice. And this might help. So give me some guesses on this if you think you know where this is. Czech Republic from Edgard is Edgard's guess. Let's see if we can... Uh, Find another sign. Remember, we need to be far enough north or at least high enough, I guess, for there to be um, snow, right? I mean, you can have snow just by being high up as well. I don't think it's Japan. I see Ukraine as a guess. Go with Ukraine. Oh, we don't know. Should we just take a wild guess? Let's just take a wild guess. See Czech Republic as well. I'm not sure. I'm not sure what the best guess is. I'm trying to look at the um, whether there's mountains. I'm trying to look at the uh, how things look. Let's try Ukraine and let's let's go for it. Let's see. Although I do see Ulat saying Bulgaria, Mongolia. Oh, that's interesting. Let's try Ukraine. It's Bulgaria. Ulat was correct. Uh, once again, I should have listened to the people in chat and should have used that. Uh, let's see here. We'll do one more, everybody. So there's corn. There's a lot of trees. A lot of, I don't even know what those are out in the field. Now they grow corn in a lot of places. By the way, this is corn. And this is wheat. Now there's a fire hydrant out in the out in the middle of the country, which is unusual. Okay, we have some architecture up here and a vehicle. Let's see if we can get down this road. Okay, so I don't think we're in Canada because this this does not look like a Canadian house. Um, and this is definitely not a Canadian looking vehicle or North American looking. Vehicle. This could be Italy. This is beautiful, by the way, all of this growing on top of the garage. 
Brent says the television poll or the telephone poles are not from the US. Definitely not. Garbage can here. Uh, we can't read it. Uh, they have a nice little garden here. So and they have their clothes hanging on a clothesline to, to dry. So we have that going on as well. And let's go this way a little bit. More wheat fields, more wheat fields, more. Okay, what do we want to guess? France? Let's guess France. Let's do that. I'll take uh, Buzid says France in the chat. Let's try it. See, uh, see what we got. Oh, you guessed France. Your streak is now at one country. Do I have to keep playing uh, till I break the streak? Should we do one more? I was going to quit at 8. It's 8 o'clock right now, 8 p.m. I was going to watch a basketball game on TV with Jen. We like to watch the Raptors play. This looks like Holland to me. Or Finland or Norway. I don't know why I think that. I've never been to Holland, even though my parents are originally from so We have kind of like a Scandinavian look here, like a Finland or Norway. I mean, it doesn't have to be there. Wait, sign there? Oh, we have some street signs. Schoenhauser Straffel. So kind of German sounding. Are we in Germany? Yeah, Brent, it's 8 o'clock here. Are you an hour different from me, Brent? Sorry, I keep looking at that screen. I have two screens. I'm looking at me. Brent, are you an hour different from me? Or are you just surprised it's 8 o'clock already? So we're on a hospital. Luxembourg. Well, oh, that's a good guess. Eduardo says Germany. Pepe says Luxembourg. Gratielis is Holland, but I, I don't think it's Holland. Oh, here we have a little bit more to look at. Don't know what that is. Well, that's a song by the uh, American band, The Eagles. Oh, there's a map here. Well, that doesn't really help us. We can't see. We can't see the map. Okay, let's try Germany. And then if we're wrong, we'll wrap this up. Oh, that's correct. So we'll keep playing for a little bit more. Um, by the way, I'm happy to see 73 people watching. I was not expecting more than 15 or 20. Um, so welcome. Hey, folks, help me out here. Where are we? Are we in Japan? Uh, am I showing my ignorance or am I showing my knowledge? Let me know where this is if anybody recognizes what I'm looking at. Oh, well, some of you are up early or up late. Ricardo says Japan. Amina says Japan. Um, I just have a real feeling that this is Japan. So let's go. Let's find Japan. Let's guess. We got it. Our streak is now three countries. And now we are. Poland. Are we in Poland? Someone, I'm pretty sure PL is Poland. Should I guess Poland? Yeah, hey Brent, see you later. Um, I'm going to guess Poland. I'm actually hoping I'm wrong because I, 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 want, I want to get going. But Oh, this one, yeah, this will mess us up. Although this is goldenrod growing in the ditch and we have a lot of that in Canada. Okay, tell me in the chat. Here's the big guess. We're going to guess United States or Canada. Okay, so you tell me, should I guess United States or Canada? Um, hey, Alma, uh, Milton 10. Hi, Bob from Curitiba. Good to see you. Um, I'll just wait for a sec to see what people say in the chat. Are we going to guess Canada or are we going to guess United States? Amina says Canada. Eduardo says Mexico. Um, I hadn't thought of that. Canada from Cecilia. Let's go with Canada. Oh, it's Spain. Okay, it's Spain. <laughs> Sorry. 
totally, totally, totally wrong. Hey, everybody. Um, so I do play this game every once in a while. Um, I'm not sure how often I'll do it as a live stream, but this was a lot of fun. So um, just keep an eye out on this channel. If I do this again, I'll, uh, I'll let you know, but uh, it was a lot of fun. Uh, but I am going to wrap this up. So I'll just say bye to everybody. Bye to Vincent and Sebastian and Ruz and Ricardo and Leonardo and so many of you here. Uh, a lot of regulars from my other channel as well. Um, if you're brand new here and you're wondering what this is, I, I teach English on YouTube. I have two channels. I have Bob's Short English Lessons and I have Learn English with Bob the Canadian. You can check them both out. Uh, thanks for hanging out. Have a good evening. I'm going to click the end button soon and I'll see you um, maybe later this week. We'll see whenever I feel like playing again. Bye.